So Responsible JS is a library that allows you to give your mobile visitors the option of what experience they want. So typically a mobile site looks something like this, um, where everything is responsive, it's mashed together. Um, that's fine, especially if it's designed uh, very well and well thought out of you know what the mobile experience should be like. A lot of mobile websites aren't like this, they're real bad. Um, but basically what Responsible uh, JS does is give people the option to actually uh, view this full site if they want to and pinch and zoom and have a desktop experience on uh, the mobile site if they want to on their mobile browser. Uh, and the only thing that we need to do to get this to work is basically separate out all of your media queries and uh, that are targeting mobile and tablet devices into a new CSS file. Um, and typically call that like responsive.css. But um, yeah, so that's the quick demo of what it does. Uh, you can see there's no page reload. So it's very, very quick and seamless uh, for users to toggle back and forth and consume the website how they want to uh, consume it. There's a number of different options with it, um, even the toggles here. So by default, um, we insert a view mobile site, uh, view full site toggle. When you toggle that, it inserts that toggle at the top here, view mobile site, uh, and that's how I can toggle back and forth. But you can actually configure that to turn those off and have custom toggles. So here's two custom toggles I'm just triggering um, the actions with uh, buttons. So this could be in your footer or in your menu or whatever. Uh, but yeah, and really the base idea was to make the mobile web less shitty. Uh, and if you want to uh, consume it like you do on your desktop, so there's no like different menu and hamburger thing you gotta find and like scroll forever to see stuff on a page, um, just let users toggle the desktop if they want to. Um, or consume it on mobile, which is the default. Um, but yeah, so that's Responsible JS in a nutshell. Hope you enjoy. Um, it's open source, and pull requests are welcome. So let's take a look at how it works. So on the demo page here at davewells.tv slash code slash responsible, uh, this is also in the GitHub repository, this demo code. Um, if we go ahead and view the page source, you can see that my style sheet has been broken up into two separate style sheets. So everything that was in styles.css that was uh, a media query that was targeting uh, tablets and mobile devices was moved into the responsive.css um, file. And then I'm just including that um, the responsible JavaScript into the page. So if we go ahead and refresh here, we see here's responsible, the library being included. And then I'm just initializing um, because I named my style sheet responsive uh, CSS. Of course, those options can be overwritten. Um, there's a number of different options that come uh, out of the box and I'm open to suggestions on adding more. But basically, you can overwrite where your responsive CSS path is uh, and change a bunch of other stuff. There's comments in the source code and in the documentation on how to do that. Um, but if we just look at a quick example on my uh, blog here, uh, here I am including responsible and here I'm initializing it uh, and I've given it a new CSS path. So the full CSS path to where my responsive CSS lives. So if you go to davidwells.tv slash blog, uh, you can see this in action as well. Um, I'm just overriding the default path to give it the correct place to find my responsive CSS. But um, yeah, so that's kind of the plugin in a nutshell, uh, responsible. Hopefully you implement it or the design pattern in your sites. Um, I think it's a very good user experience to give them the option of how to consume your content. Because again, they might be more familiar with the desktop version and that's how they actually want to consume it on their phone on the go.